if you have any doubt you can ask to the teacher in the classes only and the teacher is always there to help you out right secondly we uh, give personalized attention to each and every students in our batches because our batches consist of maximum six number of student not more than that this help you to ask all your doubt without any hesitation to the teacher as well as the teacher will also uh, be able to keep an eye on you how you are progressing how you are doing in the class room and definitely in the homework also and uh, definitely you will get the feedback with that okay now coming to the third thing we have a very good dedicated academic mentor team who continuously track how you are progressing so in which topic you were uh, already prepared in which topic you were lagging everything will be tracked and you will get the feedback there will be ptm also and you will be able to understand where you need improvement okay and you will be able to improve yourself right and the fourth thing is we cover the syllabus as per your school examination schedule like if you have any topic which are there in your school exam but we have not done it yet so we will do those topics first and then we will move on to the rest of the topic so this type of custom request generally we handle okay hi vidhi how are you good morning good afternoon beta okay so this is all about the general features of swift learn let us now see what are our key features first of all we maintain a detailed progress report of each and every student and this progress report will go to you there will be ptm jaise aapke school mein bhi ptm hota hai idhar bhi hota hai and in the ptm we will mutually discuss what are your faults where you need improvement where to in, uh, improve like uh, where to go in uh, like the progress so your uh, parents will also be able to interact with us directly right this will help you to improve secondly uh, we have the sat that is the swift learn um, academic test series which happen in every sunday from 9 am to 5 pm you will be able to perform over there and your rank um, all over the india will be given on the leaderboard right now coming to the third and the fourth thing that is the most important thing that after completing each and every chapter what you have to do you have to practice the question answers right so there are unlimited practice test over here in swift learn so you can take any test after completing the chapter of each and every uh, topic for each and every subject also and solve the objective as well as the subjective questions okay so basically we uh, see that most of the students uh, get less marks or lose the marks in the subjective answers so three mark or five marks ka answer is very important for you to practice ओके okay, तो आप इधर प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हो सबमिट कर सकते हो एंड वी हैव अ वेरी गुड ग्रुप ऑफ टीचर हु कंटिन्यूसली विल चेक योर आंसर एंड गिव यू द टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स हाउ टू राइट द आंसर वे टू इंक्लूड डायग्राम वे टू इंक्लूड द केमिकल इक्वेशन एंड दिस विल हेल्प यू टू राइट द बेटर आंसर एंड डेफिनेटली इट विल हेल्प यू टू गेट द फुल मार्क्स क्योंकि साइंस में फुल मार्क्स लाना है इट्स नॉट एट ऑल डिफिकल्ट है ना yes so this will help uh, you in your school exam as well as the board exam when you are going to class 10th okay now to experience all these things what you have to do you have to book the free trial class all the trial classes are free of course book it any time as per uh, your convenient time and uh, experience everything in the live classes and then enroll your name also in the regular batches so that we can meet every day in the classes theek hai now for those who have not subscribed our channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any of the update of the upcoming sessions you will stay with us in all the session till the end stay and we'll, uh, i'll ask a lot of question to you uh, let me see who will be the student of the session i'll write your name on the screen who will give me most of the answers correctly theek hai and do not forget to like comment and share also chalo so let us start with a new topic which is there in uh, class 9 syllabus of icsc board the topic's name is seed the structure and the germination of the seed theek hai to seeds ke bare mein to aapko already maloom hai right yes vidhi you have subscribed great now uh, vidhi can you tell me the name of some of the seeds and uh, everyone who is li listening to my session please quickly tell me what are the different seeds you have seen as well as which is the fav your favorite seed matlab aap khane mein kaun se seed in mein se pasand sabse zyada karte ho yes like main bolungi main almond bahut pasand karti hu as well as the pistachio okay so let me see who can give me the correct answer like Yeah, you like your favorite seed. 
so in the uh, meantime let me tell you what we are going to discuss in today's session hum sabse pehle seed kya hai that introduction i'll give you where the seeds are produced where it is formed and all mainly which part of the plant is producing the seed okay then we will move on to the structure of the seed then to the classification of the seed there are how many types of seeds we will classify then we will move on to those types of seeds that is the monocotyledonous and the dicotyledonous seed ye dono seeds ka structure kya hai and uh, along with the structure each and every part ka function kya hai hum discuss karenge then we will move uh, to the differences between the monocotyledonous and dicotyledonous seed and finally we will go for the function of the seed okay uh, do you think that the seeds also have any function if yes what can be the function uh, like can you please tell me in your own word in the chat box quickly tell me this answer yes i have not got the answer of your favorite seed jaldi jaldi likh do aapka favorite seed aap khane mein kaun si seed pasand karte ho yes in the chat box now let's move on to the main introduction of the seed hum seeds uh, seeds hame milte kahan se hai okay uh, first of all you already have seen a lot of different types of plants around you hai na if you go to the uh, botanical garden definitely or any garden any park aapko sabhi uh, sare jagah plants milenge right now most of these plants reproduce karte hain seed se yes you already have an idea about the reproduction and you already know about the two types of reproduction right what are they सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एंड सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन ये जो असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन है दीज आर बेसिकली टेकिंग प्लेस इन द लोअर ग्रुप ऑफ प्लांट्स वी ऑलरेडी नो असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन टेक्स प्लेस वेयर देर इज ओनली वन parent is there and lower groups of plants and animals perform this asexual type of reproduction but if we go for the higher groups of plants then we will see that sexual reproduction takes place now ye sexual reproduction takes place only in the flowering plants jisko hum angiosperms kehte hain ठीक है तो ये एंजियोस्पर्म्स में क्या होता है द फ्लावर विल बी देयर इन द फ्लावर देयर आर द फोर मेन पार्ट्स दैट इज द कैलिक्स कोरोला एंडशियम गाइनेशियम यू ऑलरेडी नो एंड गाइनेशियम में हम सबसे ज्यादा फोकस करेंगे क्योंकि गाइनेशियम में रहता है स्टिग्मा स्टाइल एंड ओवरी और ये जो ओवरी है that ovary will after the fertilization of the seed that uh, of the ovary we will get the zygote okay and this ovary will find uh, will be formed the fruit okay and the within the ovary there will be the ovules the small small ovules will become the seeds of the fruit to hum sabse zyada kya khate hain fruit khate hain ya seed khate hain most of the time we eat the fruit and we just scatter the seed here and there right when after scattering when they are getting a proper favorable condition for their growth a new plant a baby plant will grow from that okay and this growing of the new plant from a very small seed is known as the germination theek hai to hum aaj germination ke bare mein nahi sochenge utna hum aaj sirf dekhenge ki ye seed kya hai kaise dikhne mein hota hai you already have got an idea ki fruits ke andar seeds rehta hai and this seeds are nothing but the matured ovules and what are the different seeds which we eat Yes so can you tell me what are the different seeds which we eat Yes quickly quickly tell me in the chat box Okay so you already got an idea ki the ovary of the flower will become the fruit okay and this fruit is the enlarged ripened ovary after within which the seeds are present if you can see over here this is the fruit and the fleshy fruit and within this this very small small seeds are present so seeds are nothing but the matured ovules and fruit is nothing but the matured ovary fine this fruit basically protect the seeds and we generally consume the fruit and we just scatter disperse the seed here and there for example we eat the mango the fleshy mango and just we uh, scatter the seed over and here and there right now from the seeds a new plant will grow 
Now, can you name some of the uh, seeds which we generally eat or some of the grains we generally eat? Just up. बोल सकते हो कि मेज वीट कॉर्न ओट्स राइस दीज आर द डिफरेंट ग्रेन्स वी जनरली द इंडियन पीपल यूज टू प्रेफर एंड दीज आर आवर स्टेपल फूड राइट सो दीज ग्रेन्स आर एक्चुअली द फ्रूट इन विच द फ्रूट वर्ल्ड इज देयर एज वेल एज द सीट कोट इज ऑल्सो फ्यूज विद इट विच गिवस अ प्रॉपर प्रोटेक्टिव लेयर टू द फ्रूट ठीक है एंड वी ईट दिस ग्रेन्स Now, what is this seed? Seed is all about the ripened ovule. If you think about this one, is the fruit, and then within the fruit there are the seed. So this seed is nothing but the ripened ovule, and the fruit is nothing but the ripened ovary. Fine. So ovary mature. Ho ke kya hoga? फ्रूट होगा एंड ओवियल मैच्योर होके क्या होगा सीड्स होगा राइट सो वास्ट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द प्लांट्स जैसे मेनली टू बी वेरी स्पेसिफिक फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स के अंदर सीड्स रहता है ओके फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स के फ्रूट्स के अंदर सीड्स रहता है द सीड इज कवर्ड विद द सीड कोट व्हिच प्रोटेक्ट द मेन एम्ब्रियो विद इन इट ओके उसके अंदर सीड के अंदर एम्ब्रियो रहता है व्हिच विल बी प्रोटेक्टेड बाय फ्रॉम एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ मैकेनिकल डैमेज या फिर इंजरी फ्रॉम आउटसाइड बाय द सीड कोट राइट सो द बीन सीड्स पी सीड्स आई थिंक यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन एंड द आउटर मोस्ट कवरिंग ऑफ दिस सीड्स यू कैन सी ओवर हियर द पंपकिन सीड द मेलन सीड यू कैन सी इसके ऊपर एक कोटिंग रहता है विच इज नोन एज द सीड कोट जो उसके अंदर जो एम्ब्रियो रहता है ओके आफ्टर फर्टिलाइजेशन क्या होता है जाइगॉट एंड जाइगॉट विल डिवाइड एंड डिवाइड अगेन एंड अगेन द सेल डिविशन विल टेक प्लेस एंड इट विल फॉर्म द मल्टी सेल्यूलर एम्ब्रियो and that embryo will grow to form a new plant okay so ye embryo ko bahut acche se protect karke rakhna hota hai and this protection is given by the seed coat nothing else got got it yes now so when the seed is a uh, basically this is a fertilized thing okay so it will the, it is the matured ovule of the flowering plants we already know but it the embryo remains inactive within the seed but when it will get a proper favorable condition it uh, and along with their like uh, proper nourishment which they get from the seed they will grow into a new plant before that before getting a favorable condition they remain in an inactive state which is also known as a dormant state okay so dormancy ko break karna hoga and that dormancy will break into um, break when they will get a proper favorable condition and then only the germination of the seed will take place theek hai now this embryo can withstand any sort of unfavorable condition koi bhi drought condition bahut zyada temperature ya fir bahut kam temperature any extreme condition ho sakta hai flood ho sakta hai ya fir koi bhi moisture ekdam nahi hai to dry ho gaya to aise koi bhi unfavorable condition ko bahut acche se tolerate kar sakta hai but they will not be able to germinate at that situation but when they will get a proper favorable condition from their environment then only the seed will germinate into a new plant always remember and this plant embryo um, in seeds have the proper structure which are known as the seed leaves aur ye seed leaves ko hum cotyledons bhi kehte hain okay this cotyledons are nothing but the seed leaves uh, which is present in the central part of the seed embryo uh, to which the plumule radical will go up the radi uh, radical will give birth to the root and the plumule will give birth to the shoot of the plant okay so after getting the favorable condition the seed will be able to germinate and germinate hone ke baad kya hoga let me show you by a diagram so let it be the seed and after getting the favorable condition a very small plumule will come out and a very short radical will come out okay so the radical will go towards the so uh, soil and it will grow into the root and the plumule will go upward towards the sunlight and 
इट विल गिव राइज टू द मैच्योर स्टेम ओके स्टेम और हम शूट भी कह सकते हैं तो वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट द प्लांट हैज द टू सिस्टम वन इज द रूट सिस्टम ग्रोइंग ऑन द ग्राउंड एंड अनादर वन इज द शूट सिस्टम व्हिच इज ग्रोइंग अब द ग्राउंड राइट एंड द फोटोसिंथेसिस टेक्स प्लेस द डिफरेंट ब्रांचेस आर कमिंग आउट द फ्लावर्स फ्रूट्स आर ऑल कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम द शूट right so this radical and plume it will come out from the cotyledon and they will form the root and the shoot system of a plant up to this much clear hai yes any doubt till now now let us move on to the types of the seeds now to ye jo cotyledon maine already bol diya ki these are the seed leaves which are present within the uh, within the embryo these are basically uh, based on how many number of cotyledons uh, present in a seed we can basically divide this into two main types of seeds what are they one is the monocotyledon seed and the second one is the dicotyledon seed to so, monocotyledon seed ya mono se hi hame pata chal jata hai right mono ka matlab kya hai one okay aur cotyledon as matlab cotyledon कितना कॉटेलिडन है वन कॉटेलिडन है या फिर वन सीड लीफ है ओके सो द प्लांट्स प्लांट सीड्स व्हिच आर हैविंग ओनली वन कॉटेलिडन वी विल कॉल दोस एज द मोनोकॉटेलिडन इज प्लांट ठीक है एंड डाई मतलब क्या है डाई मतलब टू एंड कॉटेलिडन इज का मतलब तो सेम ही होगा दिस इज द कॉटेलिडन ओके सो व्हेन देयर आर टू कॉटेलिडन्स और टू सीड लीव्स देन वी विल कॉल दोस प्लांट और द सीड्स एज द डाई कॉटेलिडनस सीड्स और डाई कॉटेलिडनस प्लांट द होल प्लांट विल फॉर्म एज अ डाई कॉटेलिडनस प्लांट ठीक है तो हम ये एंजियोस्पम्स को या फिर फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स को दो तरीके में डिवाइड कर सकते हैं बेस्ड ऑन हाउ मेनी कॉटलिडन्स आर प्रेजेंट विद इन देयर सीड इनटू टू मेन टाइप्स दैट इज द मोनोकॉटलिडनस प्लांट एंड द डाइकॉटलिडनस प्लांट क्लियर है अप टू दिस मच यस अप टू दिस मच इज देयर एनी क्वेश्चन no so you can see over here how the seeds are coming in contact with the soil they are getting the water the sufficient minerals from here and a proper condition temperature humidity moisture everything what is needed for their germination and they are germinating from the seeds and they are making the new plants over here theek hai up to this much clear hai yes now coming to the examples of the monocotyledonous plant and dicotyledonous plant i have already told you what are monocot and dicot plants so uh, when the embryo has only one cotyledon or one seed leaf they are known as the monocotyledonous plant and when the embryo is having two cotyledons then those plants are known as the dicotyledonous plant to monocotyledonous plant ka example ho jayega maize wheat rice ab bahut sare examples likh sakte ho like the banana have you ever seen the banana seed yes uh, then onion then maize to ho gaya uh, palm okay so all the seeds are having only one one cotyledon so these are known as the monocotyledonous seeds or the plant together is known as the monocotyledonous plant or dicotyledonous plant kya hoga have you ever eaten any nut the ground nut ya fir peas and all Yes, तो कितना कॉटेलिडन्स रहता है उसमें ऐसे दो कॉटेलिडन्स में हम डिवाइड कर सकते हैं ना द पी सीड इफ यू जस्ट टेक इट और ग्राम किडनी बीन्स इफ यू जस्ट टेक इट एंड इफ यू जस्ट ट्राई टू ब्रेक इट इट विल कम इन टू टू इक्वल हाफ राइट सो दिस आर नथिंग बट द टू कॉटेलिडन्स ठीक है एंड दिस आर कमिंग दैट इज वाई अंडर द टाई कॉटेलिडनस प्लांट सो पी ग्राम किडनी बीन ground nut any sort of like uh, you can say the neem seeds come under it okay always remember mango to mango humme jo ripen mango hum khate hain na wo dekhne mein hota hai ki one hi uh, ye seed mein ek hi cotyledon hai but not at all mangoes have two cotyledons theek hai to if you uh, see any uh, like unripe mango or raw mango then you will see that there uh, you will be able to distinguish the two cotyledons of the mango theek hai after 
कटिंग इट बट राइपन मैंगो में क्या होता है दोज टू पॉटलेडन फ्यूज विद ईच अदर वेरी टाइटली एंड दैट इज वाई इट सिम्स टू बी वन कॉटलेडन ओनली ठीक है so these are all the, the different examples of the dicotyledonous plant chalo now let us move on to the classification of the seed based on the size so we can see that there are the different seeds which are very small in size okay barely it are, those are visible through the naked eyes but there are certain seeds which are large seeds as a largest seed hum bol sakte hai ki coconut ka seed hota hai right so based on the size again we can divide the seeds into two main type one is the small seed and other one is the large seed so small seed mein ho sakta hai the poppy seeds yes uh, we generally use it in uh, many dishes right uh, orchid seeds these are very small small seeds but if you think about the large seed ye watermelon pumpkin mango coconut ye sare jitna bhi seeds hai ye sare large seeds ke andar aa jayenge okay this is just based on the size it's very simple right now let's move on to another type of classification of the seed based on the presence or absence of the endosperm okay so there are certain seeds where the endosperm is present abhi ye endosperm kya hota hai okay so let me uh, again go back to the fertilization part and let me again show you kaise fertilization hota hai in the ovule so this is the ovule having seven cells and eight nucleus theek hai you have already studied ki ye jo एग सेल है दिस इज द एग सेल दे आर गार्डेड बाई द टू सेल्स विच आर नोन एज द एंटीपोडल सेल्स उसके जस्ट ऑपोजिट थ्री सेल्स रहता है विच आर नोन एज द साइनर्जिस और बीच में रहता है द टू सेल्स विच आर फ्यूज विथ ईच आदर एंड दे आर नोन एज द पोलर न्यूक्लियाई okay now when the male gametes are coming and fusing one male gamete will fuse with the egg and another male gamete will fuse with the polar nuclei ye jo ek ke sath fuse hota hai it will form the zygote zygote cell division karke hoga ye embryo theek hai एंड ये जो पोलर न्यूक्लियाई के साथ फ्यूज करते हैं दैट टाइप ऑफ फ्यूजन इज नोन एज ट्रिपल फ्यूजन एंड दे गिव राइज टू द एंडोस्पॉर्म ओके एंडोस्पॉर्म इज नथिंग बट इट बेसिकली प्रोवाइड द न्यूट्रिय टू द एम्ब्रियो ओके तो ग्रोइंग एम्ब्रियो के लिए उसको भी तो न्यूट्रिय चाहिए नहीं तो हाउ विल इट डेवलप राइट और अगर एम्ब्रियो ठीक ठाक से न्यूट्रिय नहीं लेंगे एंड डेवलप नहीं करेंगे तो इट विल नॉट बी एबल टू गिव राइज टू अ न्यू प्लांट जर्मिनेट भी नहीं होगा और कुछ भी नहीं होगा नया प्लांट आएंगे ही नहीं right so that is why the endosperm is very much important how many uh, set of chromosomes are present three sets of chromosomes are present aur isko hum triple fusion kehte hain when the male gamete one of the male gamete come and fuse with the secondary nucleus okay so basically this process you will study in the sexual reproduction chapter of the uh, flowering plant i have just given you the basic idea because so that you will be able to understand ki endosperm form kaise hota hai fine now endosperm form to ho gaya अब ये किसी किसी सीड्स में एंडोस्पम रहता है और किसी सीड्स में एंडोस्पम रहता नहीं है राधर इट इज कंज्यूम बाय द ग्रोइंग एम्ब्रायो टोटली इट इज कंज्यूम बाय द ग्रोइंग एम्ब्रायो ओके एंड दो सीड्स आर नोन एज द नॉन एंडोस्पॉर्मिक सीड्स एंड वेर एवर देर इज द एंडोस्पॉम्स प्रेजेंट दिस इज नोन एज द एंडोस्पॉर्मिक या फिर एल्ब्यूमिन सीड ठीक है so the first uh, type of seed is known as the albuminous seed ya fir endospermic seed where there is a very large thick fleshy endosperm rehta hai okay and we eat that endosperm so it gives a proper food nutrients to the growing embryo to embryo bahut acche se developed hoga and after getting the condition they will also germinate right to idhar kya rehta hai in case of these seeds the cotyledons are thin membranous cotyledons chhota hota hai thin hota hai membranous hota hai and absorb the food from the endosperm and it supply uh, 
the total food to the embryo so that the embryo can develop properly okay now this type of seeds where the endosperms are present we can uh, specifically find them in certain dicot and monocot seeds jaise dicot mein aa jayega aapka poppy seeds master uh, sorry custard apple seed musk melon fenugreek these are the seeds and if you think about the monocotyledonous seed to cereals mein millets mein uh, onion mein palm mein aa jayega aapka endospermic seeds okay very good anushka yes beta you have you were totally correct that not in uh, non endospermic seeds do not have the endosperm uh, when they are matured because wo pura uh, uska embryo uska endosperm ko le lete while they are growing right yes so the cantilidans store food and become thick and fleshy and that is why we cannot see the endosperm separately and this uh, type of seeds are known as the non endospermic seeds or the ex albuminous seed theek hai to albuminous or ex albuminous ka hi different naam hai endospermic and non endospermic seed up to this much clear yes so either ye non endospermic seed we can see in the dicotyledonous seed like jaise is gram pea ma mango um, must, uh, mustard soybean mein ho gaya and if you think about the monocot then we can find it in the valley snaria it's one of the aquatic plants then orchid you have seen the beautiful flowers of the orchid right so these are the different plants where non endospermic seeds are found so basically you have to remember the definition as well as the examples are very much important in this chapter now coming to the very simple thing that is the structure of the monocot and the dicot seed to aapko either structure kaise yaad rakhna hai by looking at the diagram if you know the diagram very well then it will help you to know the structure very well theek hai so there is nothing to just mug up the concept or nothing to just uh, like uh, learn and learn about the different structures and all okay just you focus on the diagram know the diagram very carefully what are the labelings of the diagram what is they they uh, what are they showing and then only you will be able to understand what are the different parts of the monocot and the dicot plant dicot seed theek hai so this is the monocotyledonous seed having only one cotyledon you can see the main seed over here it is showing it is only having one outer layer jo ye dark yellow mein aapko dikh raha hai this outer layer is known as the seed coat okay this outer layer is known as the seed coat abhi ye outer layer ke अंदर आप एक लेयर देख सकते हो विच इज बेसिकली गार्डिंग द एंडोस्पॉर्म एंड दिस लेयर विच इज सेपरेटिंग द एंडोस्पॉर्म फ्रॉम द एम्ब्रियो दट इज दिस पोर्शन इज द एंडोस्पॉर्म द अपर वन एंड दिस पोर्शन द लोअर वन इज द एम्ब्रियो ठीक है ये जो सेपरेट कर रहे हैं दिस लेयर इज नोन एज द एल्यूरोन लेयर this is a proteinaceous layer which is separating the endosperm from the embryo abhi ye embryo ke andar jo rehta hai you can see this hard structure this is known as cutellum i am giving you the um, more of its uh, labeling which is needed for you then there are the structure we can see over here very lightly ye aa rahe hai this structure is known as the coleoptile coleoptile kya hai this is a sheet which is protecting the plumule plumule kya hai from the plumule the shoot system will arise when this seed will germinate plumule se stem hoga theek hai aur niche similarly rehta hai aur ek aisa sheet that sheet is known as the coleorhiza or coleorhiza sheet is basically guarding the radical you can see this one is the radical the radical basically give rise to the root of the plant okay when they are germinating after germination this radical will become the root and plumule will become the shoot and plumule ko guard karke rakhte hai coleoptile aur root ko radical ko guard karke rakhte hai coleorhiza 
अप टू दिस मच क्लियर है येस एंड दिस इज द होल कॉटलिडन और द ग्रोइंग एम्ब्रियो दिस इज द टोटल कॉटलिडन एंड दिस वन इज द ग्रोइंग एम्ब्रियो एंड द एम्ब्रियो इज बेसिकली टेकिंग देयर न्यूट्रिय फ्रॉम द एंडोस्पॉम ठीक है अप टू दिस मच क्लियर Yes, so this is the structure of the corn seed. We can see this is the structure of the corn seed. We will study about the function of each and every part now. We have already got an idea about the structure. So the outermost covering corn tha. That is the seed coat. Seed coat basically is the membranous coat which is fused with the fruit well, and that is why it is known as the hull. ओके सेकेंडली द एंडोस्पॉर्म एंडोस्पॉर्म ऊपर रहता है विच वॉज स्टोरिंग द फूड यू कैन सी ओवर हियर दिस इज द एंडोस्पॉर्म स्टोरिंग द फूड फॉर द ग्रोइंग एम्ब्रियो तो एंडोस्पॉर्मिक सीड्स में भी रहता है बट सम लाइक एंडोस्पॉर्म इज प्रेजेंट इन द मोनोकॉटलिडन सीड्स लाइक ऑर्किड्स इधर नॉन एंडोस्पॉर्मिक सीड्स रहता है मतलब दिस विल बी लाइक एंडोस्पॉर्म से ऑलरेडी द न्यूट्रिय हैज बीन कंज्यूम्ड बाय द ग्रोइंग एम्ब्रियो फाइन ना द थर्ड थिंग विच आई हैव शोन यू इज द एल्यूरोन लेयर इट वॉज द लेयर ओवर हियर यू कैन सी द पेल येलो कलर्ड लेयर जस्ट बिनीथ द सीड कोड दिस इज द एल्यूरोन लेयर इट इज अ प्रोटीन लेयर विच इज प्रेजेंट एंड इट इज जस्ट सेपरेटिंग द एम्ब्रियो फ्रॉम द एंडोस्पॉन गॉट इट नेक्स्ट इज द एम्ब्रियो एम्ब्रियो तो आपको पता है दिस इज द ग्रोइंग थिंग विद इन विच द रूट सिस्टम शूट सिस्टम वट एवर इज प्रेजेंट इज प्रेजेंट इन अ वेरी स्मॉल स्ट्रक्चर येस इट इज अ ग्रूव एट वन एंड ऑफ द एंडोस्पॉम नाउ स्क्यूटेलम आई हैव शोन यू इन द डायग्राम दैट द स्क्यूटेलम इज द शील्ड शेपड कॉटलिडन इज नोन एज द स्क्यूटेलम और एम्ब्रायोनियल एक्सिस में जो दोनों रहता है like if you think about this is the whole corn seed upar chale jayega aapka endosperm and niche aa jayenge aapka embryo to embryo ke ek side mein rehta hai the coleoptile or and this is the shield like structure or sheath which is protecting the plumule which will give rise to the stem or niche rehta hai aapka coleo rhiza this is another sheet which is preventing or just give, uh, giving a protection to the radical okay radical which will grow to form the root of the plant in the new plant theek hai up to this much clear yes any question till now chalo hi nitya is it all clear to you so this is all about the monocotyledon now we will go to the dicotyledon seed so dicotyledon seed mein kya hai two cotyledons always you can see over here this is one cotyledon this is another cotyledon it is nothing but a bean seed we can see ओवर या द आउटर मोस्ट लेयर इज द सीड कोट ये सीड कोट का भी डबल लेयर होता है द टू लेयर आर प्रेजेंट आउटर लेयर को टेस्टा कहते हैं ओके द आउटर लेयर ऑफ द सीड कोट इज नोन एज टेस्टा और इनर को टेगमेन कहते हैं ओके टेस्टा एंड टेगमेंट आर द आउटर एंड द इनर सीड कोट नाउ विद इन द सीड कोट वी कैन सी द कॉटिलिडन नाउ ओवर हियर लेट मी give you the other labelings okay this is the radical you can see this one is the radical from where the root will form and you can see this one is the plumule the epicotyle will give rise to the plumule we can see over here if you see the seed from outside there is a scar like structure which is known as the hilum okay and just beneath the scar we can find another pore which is known as the micropyle ye micropyle pore se kya hota hai the water will be absorbed and so that the seed the growing embryo will get the proper amount of water from it 
okay so the outer structure i have shown you here is the inner structure the epicotyl and the hypocotyl is present over here uppermost portion ko epicotyl kehte hai a little bit lower portion ko hypocotyl kehte hai and this is the whole embryo ओके इट इज द होल एम्ब्रियो इंडोस्पम हम उतना ज्यादा इधर देख नहीं पाते क्योंकि इंडोस्पम uh, से टोटल न्यूट्रिशन एम्ब्रियो ने ऑलरेडी ले लिया ओके तो दिस वी कैन से एज द नॉल नॉन एल्ब्यूमिनस सीड ओके सो दिस बीन सीड इज द एक्स एल्ब्यूमिनस या फिर नॉन एल्ब्यूमिनस सीड हो गया अंडरस्टूड यस चलो तो लेट अस सी द अदर स्ट्रक्चर हाइलम आई हैव ऑलरेडी शोन यू द हाइलम इट इज नथिंग बट अ स्कार व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द सीड कोर इट एक्चुअली हेल्प टू अटैच द डेवलपिंग सीड विद द फ्रूट सेकंड इज द माइक्रोपाइल जो हाइलम के नीचे रहता है एक स्मॉल पोर व्हिच हेल्प टू एब्सॉर्ब द वाटर and the embryo it is having the two cotyledons and the two cotyledons are very much fleshy full with reserved food materials and all so that uh, the embryo can get the proper amount of nutrition so that it can grow develop and later on it will be able to germinate clear hai up to this much yes now endosperm mein uh, jo uh, sorry एम्ब्रियो में जो रहता है द टू एंड्स ऑफ द एम्ब्रियोनल एक्सिस अगेन हैव द टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स दैट इज द रेडिकल एंड प्लूमेल रेडिकल विल गिव राइज टू द रूट जैसे मोनोकॉट में भी देता है एंड प्लूमेल विल गिव राइज टू द शूट जैसे मोनोकॉट में भी थे राइट एंड द एंडोस्पॉम इन सम ऑफ द सीड्स वी कैन फाइंड द एंडोस्पॉम जैसे आफ्टर द डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन जैसे कैस्टर में इंडोस्पॉर्मिक सीड हो जाते हैं एंड सर्टन सीड्स जैसे आई हैव शोन यू द सीड ऑफ द बीन्स तो बीन सीड में इंडोस्पॉर्म दिख नहीं रहे थे तो ओनली द कॉटलिडन वॉज प्रेजेंट विच द एम्ब्रियो हैज टेकन ऑल द न्यूट्रिय फ्रॉम द एंडोस्पॉर्म एंड दैट इज वाई इट इज नोन एज द नॉन एंडोस्पॉर्मिक सीड क्लियर है Yes, so we have studied about the structure of the seed of the dicotyledonous and the monocotyledonous plant. Now we will mainly see the uh, differences between the dicot and the monocot seed. You can see over here the main structure. If you just cut along the wheat seed, we can find the endosperm, large endosperm. We can find the radical plumule. and this is the embryo but in case of the dicotyledonous plant the embryo is throughout we can see the hilum is present mycopyle is present uh, the different endosperm is not present over here uh, ex albuminous hai ye isliye endosperm nahi dikh rahe hain but radical plumules are also present which will give rise to the root and the shoot system of the plant got it yes चलो तो हम देख लेते हैं अभी डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन द मोनोकॉट एंड द डाइकॉट सीड तो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन व्हिच कैन कम टू यू इन योर एग्जाम एज अ थ्री मार्क क्वेश्चन ओके तो ट्राई टू गिव एट लीस्ट सिक्स पॉइंट्स ऑफ मोनोकॉट एंड द डाइकॉट सीड जैसे वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट मोनोकॉट प्लांट में स्क्यूटेलम रहता है ओनली वन कॉटलेडन इज देयर एंड डाइकॉट प्लांट में टू कॉटलेडन आते हैं मोनोकॉट प्लांट में लार्ज एंडोस्पॉम रहता है डाइकॉट प्लांट में मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस एंडोस्पॉम नहीं रहता ओके द न्यूट्रिएंट हैज बीन ऑलरेडी टेकन बाय द एम्ब्रियो थर्डली मोनोकॉट सीड इज स्मॉल एम्ब्रियो रहता है बट डाइकॉट में एम्ब्रियो ही सबसे ज्यादा रहता है राइट प्लूमियो लीव्स आर रोल्ड इन केस ऑफ द मोनोकॉट लिडनस प्लांट बट डाइकॉट लिडनस प्लांट में प्लूमियो लीव्स आर फोल्डेड ओके नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू द साइज ऑफ द प्लूम्यूल वेरी स्मॉल हो सक होता है इन केस ऑफ द मोनोकॉटोलिडनस प्लांट बट डाइकॉटोलिडनस का प्लूम्यूल लार्ज होता है एंड इट बेसिकली गिव्स राइज टू द शूट सिस्टम हाइलम एंड माइक्रोपाइल नहीं रहता इन केस ऑफ द मोनोकॉट सेड आई हैव शोन यू द स्ट्रक्चर ऑल्सो डाइकॉट में दोनों ही विजिबल है बहुत अच्छे से विजिबल है ठीक है दिस हाइलम इज द स्कार एंड दिस वन इज द पोर्ट थ्रू विच द वॉटर विल बी एब्सॉर्ब बाय द सीड एंड मोनोकॉटोलिडनस में द सीड वॉल एंड द फ्रूट दे बोथ ऑफ देम आर फ्यूज विद सिंगल ग्रेन एंड नो सेपरेशन इज देयर बिटवीन देम बट डाइकॉटोलिडनस प्लांट में ये सीड वॉल फ्रूट वॉल सेपरेटेड रहता है ओके एंड द कंटेंट विद इन द फ्रूट विच इज नोन एज द पॉड ऑफ द फ्रूट 
okay so these are all the differences between the monocotyledonous and the dicotyledonous plant i hope that if you get it uh, as a three mark question you will be able to write at least six uh, differences between them right yes now let's move on to the function of the seeds what are the function first of all seed to germination may help karta hai after the germination of the seed a new plant will grow right secondly the seed contain the food in the form of the cotyledon and endosperm that food will be taken by the embryo so that they can grow they can develop and finally after getting the proper condition they will be able to germinate got it now coming to the third thing seed coat is the protective uh, layer the protective nature and they protect the whole embryo inside without the protection the embryo may be damaged in many different cases mechanical damage se wo prevent karte hain okay so these are nothing but the different functions of the seeds so this is all about today's session let us now discuss some of the question answers so my first question to you is which of the following uh, parts does the seed develop from सीट कहाँ से डेवलप करते हैं देखो ओवरी से या फिर ओवियो से या फिर एम्ब्रियो से या फिर एम्ब्रियो सेक्स से क्विकली टेल मी लेट मी सी नाउ हु विल गिव मी मोस्ट ऑफ द आंसर्स करेक्टली ही और शी विल बी द स्टूडेंट माई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ द मैच्योर्ड सीट्स क्विकली टेल मी द मैच्योर्ड सीड the two types of mature seeds are there albuminous and the non albuminous right yes so non albuminous hota hai jahan endosperm nahi rehta and albuminous hota hai jahan endosperm rehta hai okay now coming to the functions of the different parts like seed coat ka function kya hota hai micropyle endosperm and the cotyledons what are the functions of this this type of questions you can get it जैसे सीड कोट विल गिव द कवरिंग टू द सीड माइक्रोपाइल विल अलाउ द एंट्री ऑफ द वॉटर इन साइड द एम्ब्रियो एंडोस्पाम फूड को स्टोर करके रखते हैं फॉर द ग्रोइंग एम्ब्रियो एंड कॉटलेट इन स्टोर ऑल्सो द फूड फॉर द एम्ब्रियो राइट ओके लेट मी गिव यू वन वेरी गुड वेरी गुड अनुष्का यू हैव गिवन मी द करेक्ट आंसर सो let me give you a fun fact that is the birds and the animals often eat the seeds and when they poop the seeds come out from their excreta or we can say the undigested food okay so they drop down on the ground and from there they make the new plants clear eh? yes so that's all for today's session we have already studied about the seed based on the different things we have classified the seeds about the size uh, presence and absence of the um, uh, endosperm like albuminous and exalbuminous and monocotyledonous dicotyledonous uh, seed we have seen the proper structure of this right so these two are your extra time question try to solve this at uh, as your homework okay we will discuss in the next session and thank you very much for staying with us today anushka has given me most of the answers correctly so student of the session is anushka clap for her and we will definitely meet in the next session okay this is all for today uh, do not forget to subscribe our channel let me remind you this and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any of the update of the upcoming session and don't forget to like comment and share also okay so bye bye take care stay safe and stay healthy we will meet